Let's talk to a Man City fan, shall we? Jay's up next. Hi, Jay. Hi, right, Jay. Hi there, guys. How are you? Yeah, we're well, good, Jay. How are you? You good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Thank you, mate. Um, no, I just think we, we talk a lot about the best players in the world and people like Mbappe, Haaland all come to mind, but I think De Bruyne has got to start, um, names got to start coming to the, to the table more because this guy, for me, is the best passer of the ball. Do you mean, I think, in world football, and I certainly think probably the best midfielder in the in the world on current form. Um, and I just like I really just hope that as he's a modern day professional, his name just starts to get a little bit more mentioned because he's not a loud on social media type of guy. But I just think he's an unbelievable player. Well, I don't know where you've been, Jay, but his his name is often spoken about as one of the best players in the world. No, but I think that I don't know. I just feel that there's too much. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Jay. I know what you mean. Uh, I know what both of you mean, but we, we very rarely, we're always talking about Mbappe, we're always talking about Haaland, how much they're worth, how much they're going for. Mm. But very rarely do we talk about Kevin De Bruyne as on that top. No, no, you're looking at me like I'm mad. I think okay, when was the last time you read an article about Kevin De Bruyne or you heard a conversation about him on, on any kind of either TV station or radio station? About what? Uh, about Kevin De Bruyne. Every, every week? Oh, I don't know. All, all it is with Kevin De Bruyne is, he's a good player, Kevin De Bruyne. I, th- I agree with Jay. I think I think I, we don't I, give him I'm enough credit. I'm absolutely stunned that you... I that don't you, think we give him I, enough okay, credit. Well, unless... And maybe I watch a different programme with you, but... The, you okay, said, okay, who's player of the year this this season? But if, maybe Diaz, maybe Kevin De Bruyne, one of those two. Kevin De Bruyne... How can you say that Kevin De Bruyne has not spoken in glowing terms? No, can, I, I, I don't think we speak about him enough. I really don't, uh, honestly. Well, I mean, I don't know where... You, you, if you watch Match of the Day... And they, go on, they, go on they, Jay. Go on, Jay. Go what on, are you Jay, going to say? Yeah, you know, the only, the only other thing I was just going to add on to your point, Andy, because obviously I know that you agree with me. I just think it's also something where, like, if he can keep fit, because he does, do you mean, pick up the odd injury where he might miss a month of football, but I think if he can keep fit and maintain these high levels of top form, mm. he will win a Ballon d'Or. And I think we've got a guy in Phil Foden who is an unbelievable superstar in the way that City is. Jake, can I ask you about Phil Foden? Because on a lot of Man City forums tonight, a lot of City fans weren't happy with him, saying he should have taken maybe more of the chances that he had tonight. I mean, I know he scored the way. I'm a massive Phil Foden fan, but what do you make of his performance tonight? No, mate, I, I, I totally agree with you, and I agree with these City fans. I mean, I think that... His reaction to the goal said it all. Yeah. And I think that he was relieved that that mm, went in yeah. because he had a chance in the first half. Mm. He had, um, I think, a two in the second half. And again, for for him, who's another top quality player, I think that he, he played well tonight, but no way near what he's capable of. And I, again, probably like these City fans, I weren't over the moon with his performance. Um, and I think that he's... His goal got him out of jail because I think if City came away from this game and drew, there'd be a lot of people probably maybe pointing a finger at him a little bit and saying, "Again, this is why." Yeah, he could have had a hat trick. Yeah, could have had a hat trick tonight, you know. And and he's been brilliant this season. Um, and it wasn't his greatest performance. He gets the winner. They kind of get out of jail, really. City, even though they're a better side, with the goal being disallowed. Mm. They they will go through. I mean, I, they're they're in the box seat, obviously. Um, but going back to the Kevin De Bruyne one, I'm kind of a kind of stunned that you feel though he's not talked up. Like every time I listen to to Jim White's show, they're talking about De Bruyne breakfast. I mean, De, De Bruyne's the breakfast. Day. They're talking about yeah, bacon and eggs. Yes. Oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How heavy do they go on this? Is it Simon hash Jordan? Hash brown. If it smells like a hash brown, yeah. it looks yeah. like a hash brown. Yeah. Tastes like hash brown. It's, Chances are it's hash brown. 